Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to steam in-home stream over the internet. Now why would you want to do this? Say you have a laptop, uh, you want to play a game in a friend's house but the laptop can't run it. So, you can set up a computer that will run the game for you and then just stream it to you. And that's why you would do this. Now the first thing you're going to need to do for this is go to open a browser, and go to whatismyip.com, I'll have this link in the description, and uh, write down your IP. We're going to need it for a later step. Next, click your network icon. Open Network and Sharing Center. Change Adapter Settings. Now, you won't have this here, but I might as well delete them. Take this video. You also won't have this menu up here. To get to, get to Show, you have to press Alt. Then you're going to click File. New incoming connection. Then you just leave it. Uh, leave this as it is, or you or you can tick tick these accounts if you want. You, you'll just be able to log into the VPN with the information from these accounts. This is what we're doing: creating a VPN we can connect to, so Steam thinks we're on the same network. Next, make sure through the internet is checked. Next, leave this as it is, like this and allow access. Next, you want to go over to the computer that's going to be uh, doing the streaming, the laptop, not the one that's actually going to be running the game. So uh, open Network and Sharing Center, set up a new connection. You're going to want to press Connect to Workplace. Next, use my internet connection. And now here, you're going to use the IP address you saved in the first step. So you're, you're just going to type it in here. So if your IP address is 192.168.0.1, you're going to type it here. But your IP address is not going to be that because this is a local IP address, not a public IP address. Your IP address is going to be some like, I don't know, um, 254 point something, something, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to press don't connect now, but you can connect now if you want. Keep in mind, this won't work uh, if you're on the same network, so you literally do have to be on different networks to actually steam in home stream over the internet. So, uh, Next, you're going to type the username and password for the account you want to log in with to the computer that's going to be... Uh, running the game, aka the host. Press create and connect now if you want, but it doesn't matter. Now say you're away, you want to stream, what do you do? You're, you're at a friend's house, you want to play a game. Okay, you're going to open this, you're going to Press connect. I'm not going to do this because it's going to fail anyways, but it should work for you. Then you're going to open Steam. You're going to go into Steam, Settings, In Home Streaming. Now, at first, uh, you want to start off with this checked as fast. This will make sure uh, the video is compressed uh, as much as possible, and so you get um yeah you get a you get a lower quality video at the but less bandwidth usage. Now, if you you got a better connection, try balanced. If uh, you're still fine, try beautiful. Just keep going until uh until uh your connection isn't good anymore. Uh, you starting to get lag. Not, not lag, I mean, but you're starting to get drop frames. Now, in advanced client options, um, sometimes uh, you can also uh, try and limit your bandwidth here if you're on, uh, if you want to control how much bandwidth you use. For some reason, um, I've noticed that it actually only uses half the bandwidth. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, just try this. If you uh, if you still can't run it on fast or something, just 
specifically uh, limit the bandwidth it can use. So maybe on a really bad connection, you could set it to the lowest possible. Anyways, after if uh, after about a minute, Steam's gonna check uh, that. Steam's going to check whether you're on a home network or not. It's going to think it is because you're connected to the VPN. And you're going to see games here available to stream. And then you can just stream them as uh, as you would normally at home. Anyways, thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.